Nobody really knows exactly how the sport of rugby was really invented. Many think it should be credited back to when the ancient Greeks and Romans played rugby-like games decades ago. Legend has it back in the year 1823, an English student playing a game of soccer disregarded the rules and began to run with the ball in his hands, provoking the opposing players to pursue him and tackle him to the ground. This is where many believe rugby made its first origins. Whoever it is that rugby was invented, it began an eventual epidemic of a worldwide fan base that would make it one of the most followed sports in all of Europe. The United States had a different plan, however. Instead of following the lead of European countries, we made our own game that created its own enormous fan base in the National Football League, where hundreds of the highest tier athletes in the world put their bodies on the line for our entertainment, their viewers, and turned for millions of dollars each year in worldwide stardom. Kids and adults alike all over the country spend their lives playing the game not only on the field growing up, but also in video games, while making a tradition to get together with friends and family to catch their favorite team's game every single Sunday. Many student-athletes from all over the U.S. graduate high school only to attend secondary school and play more football, basketball, baseball, soccer, and so on. But where does that small percentage of students that don't quite fit in go? That's where we come in. Although the season fell short last year in 2014, Things are looking up for the River Falls men's rugby team this year as they are 4-1 in their first five games and look to win a tough match against Southwest State this weekend. The team has almost doubled in size with talented rookies, or first-year players for this season, showing hopes for a successful redemption from last year and a bright future. That's our coach, Joe Bear. Joe Bear is an alumni of River Falls rugby and is well respected by all of the members of the team. Quite frankly, the man knows his shit. And if he's willing to put the effort into coaching us for the little to nothing he receives, the least we can do is give him our best effort and undivided attention. Sometimes, to Joe's annoyance, though, we find ourselves a little off track. Hey Dale, did you wash your beard this morning? <laughs> Eric, what's the most important stretch? What about your, what about your calves? Alright, that's all I needed. <laughs> Being one of the smaller UW schools on the border of Minnesota, the UWRF Rugby Club is part of the D3 level in the Minnesota Union. The division consists of six teams, the best two teams making out of the conference to the next level playoffs. Last year, River Falls Rugby fell short in a disappointing down, down, loss down, down. to Carlton on, to fall out of the running for the playoffs. We aren't planning on letting such things happen again this year. Welcome to River Falls Rugby. My name is Flopper, and I am the fly half. Uh, my name is Dakota Cole. This is my third year. My name is John McQuaid. I am a first semester uh, rugby player. My name is Mike, and I've been on the rugby team for a year and a half now. My name is Eric Swanson. I've been playing rugby for about two and a half years now. I'm Tyson Dellers. I play prop, and I'm our uh, fourth string scrum half, who also had to play scrum half for like two and a half games. I'm Ethan Seam, also known as Chum, and I am president and I play a flanker. I got involved with rugby at the involvement fair at the very beginning of the year and I saw the rugby tent and it gave me an opportunity to get involved. I was at the involvement fair looking to play football or another sport and somebody from the rugby team grabbed me and said, we need somebody your size to play rugby for us and I said, okay. 
I guess the first thing that I ever heard about rugby is I was in a class and uh, a teacher told me that if you ever want to meet the biggest group of strange individuals on campus, go join the rugby team. So I figured that'd be a good place to start to meet some people. Fall semester of my sophomore year here at Hathorne Hall, I met a nice man named Tyler Wolf and his roommate Ty, and they just pressured me, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm glad I did, it's been amazing, I've met awesome people. What is your favorite part about playing on this team? Um, the time I get to spend with my brothers is the favorite thing I do on the team. And going to all the games and social events. A favorite memory of mine is when I scored my first try. We were playing against the, uh, the St. Paul Pigs. And it wasn't really a spectacular run or anything, but I get into the tri zone and I run into the middle of the tri zone, and right before I can touch the ball down, I get speared by the, like the smallest guy on the St. Paul Pixie Man, and he knocked the wind out of me. But you know what? I still scored. <laughs>